Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot, and in today's WordPress video, we're going to be looking at custom login and registration plugins for WordPress. So basically, if you're tired of having a login screen that looks like this, and you'd prefer something that looks a little more like, say, this, or maybe like this one, then keep watching. So I actually ended up looking at seven different plugins and they're all free, but it ended up being quite a big piece of work. So all seven, I might end up breaking this into to two videos just so it doesn't go too long. So we've got user registration by WP Everest. We got login sign up pop up by Zutix, clean login by Codection, HT Mega absolute add-ons. Now this is a big add-on pack that includes login and registration. Um, login with Ajax, that's a nice little clean one by Marcus, and Login Press by WP Brigade and Theme My Login. So all seven, I think we'll cover the first four in this one and then make sure you hit subscribe and I'll come back later with the last three. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first one, user registration, custom registration form, login and user profile for WordPress. Then that's by WP Everest. And if you type login into this plugin search in WordPress, this was actually the first one that popped up for me. So I just installed and activated it. And this was the first one that I tested. So when you activate this plugin, you'll get a user registration option in your dashboard menu and you'll get a default form set up and you'll get a short code that you can use in your page builder like Elementor or Gutenberg or any page builder that can import short codes. That'll work just fine. You just go ahead and copy that and then we're going to use that later. And also we'll have a look at the other settings. So under the general options, we've got uh, um, login options. So at first I thought, oh, it's just user registration. It's only registration, no login, but it actually does have login options as well. So once you follow that link there, you'll end up in the login options. And right down the bottom, it says, please make sure you've created a login or my account page, which has a login form and learn how to create a login form here. You'll end up on that documentation where you'll find another short code that you can use to create a login page. So those are the two login um, and registration short codes that you'll need to get this plugin onto your page. So let's go ahead and see how this looks in Elementor. So I'm using Elementor for this demonstration. You can use Gutenberg or Breezy or whatever page builder you like. As long as you can import short codes in Elementor, that is you just search for short codes and you drag that short code wherever you want to put it. Um, in that case, I've already put one down here and you put that short code in there. So this is for the login. Um, if you're already logged in, I'm going to copy that. I'll show you how to do it. You just paste it in and you'll get your um, login widget in there. So if you've already logged in, it'll show a little bit of your profile. And if you're not logged in, it will show you the actual login form. So let's have a look at the login form. So this is the login form. If you're not logged in, it's just a plain white box with your username and password. And you can add a little Google recapture there as well. And if I scroll down, I'll show you what the registration one looks like. So the registration one has a little bit more style. It's um, transparent and you've got it lines up with your theme it imports the theme style but this is quite plain for the login so um, i was a little bit disappointed there's no real way of styling this you'd have to style it yourself in css so that could be a little bit of work but let's go back and have another look so besides the login shortcode i also put that registration shortcode in there so that was just a matter of pasting the shortcode from the plugin and just popping it in there as another shortcode widget so throughout this tutorial a lot of these plugins are going to be implemented through adding a shortcode into Elementor or Gutenberg or whatever you're using. I'm using Elementor for this demo, um, but it'll work just fine, whatever you're using. Now, the cool thing with this plugin is you can actually edit these forms and that does have a nice little drag and drop form builder. So in here, you can see you've got uh, all your fields. You can actually drag new fields in. So if you want to ask for someone's website on, the, on their registration or you want to add, say, their um, nickname, maybe you can do those things. And a few of these things are grayed out because they're not in the uh, free version. So things like phone number and file uploads, those kind of things where uh, you might want to add some more things in your registration process. You don't get them in the free version, but um, it's pretty cool having a nice little form builder and you can do columns as well. So you can put the other things over there perhaps. And um, yeah, it's all quite user-friendly. So this is one of the more user-friendly ones, 
I definitely think this would come into its own when you're using the pro version, but the free version didn't really have a lot, but it still is nice to be able to design your own layout. Not many of these plugins had that ability. The other thing I liked when editing the form, after registration, you can redirect them to a certain URL. So you could just redirect them to the free members area, for example, after they've registered. So that is pretty cool. And the other thing you can also do is after login, you can add a URL to that short code and after someone logs in, they can go back to their profile or their member area. So that's a pretty important point to have. I think if it doesn't have a free redirection after you log in or register, uh, it's kind of not as good as this one, but I think most of them had this feature. So it's not really something you'd want to worry about too much, but there is one case where they didn't have it. So we'll get to one of those later. But overall, I didn't really mind it. It's a pretty clean, simple thing that you can drop onto any page on your website. People can log in or people can register on your website without having to do it through that plain WordPress default login and registration page. So let's move on to the next one. So the next one down here, we had uh, login slash sign up pop up by Zootix. Now this offers an inline form and also a pop up form. Now this was the only one that offered the form as a pop-up. So I thought this might be pretty cool to check out. So it's got 10,000 installs. It's got a full five-star rating. So let's have a look. So basically when you install and activate it, you'll get a login and sign up pop-up icon there with a the gear on it in your dashboard. And from here, it'll say um, you can use some short codes to add your forms on. So here's your short code that you can paste into your page builder. This one is for registering. You can also have login. And this is for pop-up as well. So you can pop those in the same way that I used the last case. I'm going to show you with Elementor again how those, um, how those short codes go into your page builder. So here we are in Elementor. Again, I've just put another short code widget in this right column, pasted in my short code, and same thing down here. I've actually used their pop-up short code in this one down here and just pasted that in as well and then hit update and let's have a look and see what this looks like in practice. So here we are with the Zootix plugin working on the page. Now this is a pretty clean looking login form and if you click on that side you also get a sign up form. So it's all integrated in the one little form. So that's pretty cool. If we scroll down there is also the pop-up version. So that is done by a button and then you get a nice little pop-up where you can log in or you can sign up. So I thought that was pretty cool. And the thing you can do is you can actually customize that image. So you could put your logo or any sort of stock image that you like onto that form. So let's just show you how that works. So I'm in the dashboard in the plugin settings and just under general, you can scroll down to the sidebar image and here you can select, you can grab anything out of your media library and then just pop it in. So I've used this one as my uh, image and put that into the into the form. So that's all it is. Click save settings and you can have your own image in that pop-up form. We can have a look at the other settings just quickly. So fields, the fields are customizable, but you can't add anything in the free version. Adding fields is a pro feature. So basically the form that you've got in the free version that we just saw, that's what you're stuck with. It's pretty good to be honest anyway, but if you really wanted to make a custom form, you could do that with the pro version. Let's have a look at the pricing on this one actually. I haven't looked at that yet. So single site, $14, it's not too bad. Um, and then you can have unlimited sites for 45. So it's quite a simple plugin, but you can build custom forms with it to log in with. So it's not terrible value. So it's also worth noting that that is a lifetime license. So that is nice as well. I forgot to load up the price for the last one. I checked the Everest one, but that is expensive actually. It's um, $69 and that's per year. And we've got a discount on that as well, but it's still kind of expensive. I don't want to pay yearly for just a login plugin. And that's only for one site license. So unlimited, it's going to cost 300 a year or 900 for a lifetime. Now that, I think it's kind of expensive. What else can this actually do besides user registration? Um, you can do lots of little uh, add-ons there with different plugins. I guess if you wanted a certain integration with something, but I, it's hard to see me spending that much money on a login plugin. So I might cross this off the list unless you really wanted uh, some particular functions on that pro version. Okay, now next up we've got clean login. So 10,000 active installs, four and a half stars. I thought it was worth a try. As soon as we install and activate this one, let's see how it goes. So we've got clean login installed and active. Now this one is just discreetly tucked away under settings and clean login. So let's have a look at that. So you've got our four short codes. We've got a short code for clean login and a short code for clean login register. And you can 
uh, you can edit your profile as well with that short code and you can restore your lost password with that short code too. So let's actually have a look at how these go in Elementor. So for clean login, I actually made two because they reference each other. So clean login, I made a login page and register, I made a register page with the registration short code. So let's have a look at what this looks like live on the website. So this is the clean login login form. So I mean, it lives up to its name. It's nice and clean and simple. I quite like that. If you click register, it'll take us to that registration page we just made. So it automatically detects where the registration form is being used on your website and it will link to it. So that's why I made two different pages. So this is what the registration form looks like. Again, nice and clean, transparent little box. And it includes the Google recapture um, robot detection there. So that's included in the free version. So. Uh, I think it has all the things I want, it has recapture, login, registration, and it can redirect after you log in and it can redirect after you register. So it has all the nice features and it looks pretty tidy, very minimalist. I think this is a pretty good choice. Okay, so like I said, you can put your recapture keys in there and you can do your Google recapture in the free version. You can also do your a redirection after login and you can redirect even after log out even. So pretty cool. Um, you can add terms and conditions and you can even get them to validate the user registration by an email after people register. So lots of good protections in there. Um, doesn't even look like there is a premium version of this. This is a completely simple little free version of a plugin. So that is pretty old fashioned and pretty nice. So definitely give this one a big tick. I quite like clean login. Okay, now the fourth one we've got is HT Mega. So this is a big Elementor add-on bundle by Hus Themes, 40,000 installs and four and a half stars, pretty popular. Uh, you'll get an HT Mega add-ons option there in your dashboard. And we can have a look at the free elements because it comes with tons and tons of elephant <laughs> elephants, elements, um, user login form, user registration form. So. Um, those are the on, only ones we're going to be using today, but feel free to test all these free things. It is pretty cool. I mean, there's a few different bundles like this, and this is the first time I've tried HT Mega. I normally use Premium or I use um, Essential Add-ons for Elementor, but this looks like a pretty fair option as well. It's not as popular as those other two I mentioned, but let's have a look at the user log login form and the user register form. Now, this is an only for an Elementor setup. So if you're using just a, a different page builder or just Gutenberg, probably stay, steer clear of this one. But the thing about using Elementor is you'll get all these cool styling options rather than these previous ones that I used. So let's have a look at that in Elementor. So here we are in Elementor. And if you go to your widgets and you go down to the bottom, you'll find your HD Mega add-ons. You can just drag that login form here and pop up with a nice little um, login form. And they have actually seven different styles here. So I think I was looking at style seven and style six. And so there's a few different ways to look at this. So what, which one was I? I really like this one, style number two. I thought that was pretty cool. And then you can also put a registration form. So down here, I've put the registration form. The registration form similarly has five different styles. And besides the actual styles, you can style it even further because you can actually turn things on and off. You can turn um, the password, um, forget password thing on and off. You can, uh, you can customize the actual labels here and you can put the remember me tick on there or not. You can actually turn registration on or off and there's some styling things you can do to the actual submit button and to the actual inputs. So there's a lot more you can do here in terms of styling it. I haven't done too much, but if you really want particular design details, uh, this HT Mega one might be a good one to look at. One thing you didn't get was a Google recapture, but apart from that, I thought it was pretty cool. I think it did have a redirection feature and you can redirect the page after login just right here. You just change that to yes and pop in your redirection link so you could redirect them to the members area or their course or the digital product that they bought. Anything like that, you could pop that in there. So pretty good little option. If you like using Elementor, I quite like this one. Okay, we've covered off our first four. We've covered WP Everest's user registration, Zootix's login and sign up pop-up. 
and clean login by connection and HD Mega's absolute add-ons for Elementor. Now, out of those four, I probably enjoyed using clean login. That was totally free and very clean, like its name suggested, very simple to use. I thought it fit right in, didn't need much work to get that working. And the only one thing that I did have an issue with it, I might just cover that right now quickly. Yeah, one small issue was when you are logged in, it shows your profile. The actual username was a little bit too big and they've used an H4 heading for this username for some reason. So all I did was just add some custom CSS for that actual um, uh, piece of code there. And it was the clean login container H4. I changed it to font size 15 so it fits in that box properly because on my theme I'm using Astra. It just didn't fit in that little box and that's all I had to do. I'll post that little bit of code in the uh, in the description of the YouTube videos just so you can use it as well if you have that issue don't know if you will or not but it was pretty easy to fix so I'll just share it with you guys as well but otherwise I thought it was almost a perfect little plugin back to our conclusions I thought Zootix might be good with that pro version if you really wanted to build a specific looking form and I thought the pop-up was really cool and if you've got the pro version you'll get recapture as well and I think it was only like $14 or something so pretty fair value I thought user registration was a little bit too expensive for what my use case was. Not sure if there's a specific feature that you exactly need, but um, generally I thought it probably wasn't good value compared to just getting a free one or a cheap one like that. And then finally, HT Mega, uh, not bad. If you really are particular about your styling, you can do a lot of styling things through Elementor quite easily. Didn't have a recapture. You might be able to implement that somehow. I haven't figured out how to do that, but. I think overall my winner is clean login, totally free, totally interesting. If you really want some more functionality, maybe go for Zootix, but um, make sure you hit subscribe and hit like if it's been helpful, but hit subscribe because I'm going to come back and I'm going to review these three and I'm going to say uh, right now that one of them is kind of my favorite, so uh, stay tuned for that one as well, but thanks for watching and I will see you next time.